Ta-da! Hey everyone! Today is Saturday, September 9th, 2023, and this is episode number 29 of Running with Scissors, Stitching with Jane and Julie. Mm -hmm. I'm Jane. And I'm Julie. Welcome! Welcome everybody. We made it! We did make it. I was telling <laughs> Julie, I have never felt less prepared to do a floss too than I do today. She said, why don't you just come and stitch and we can just yeah. hang out, and I'm like, no. I got my eyebrows on. Yeah, once the eyebrows are on, there's no turning back. And I thought, when life hands you lemons, you throw the shirt on and do your floss too. All right. Right? Yeah. Awesome. So. Well, oh, let's welcome everybody. Welcome, oh, everybody. Welcome. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for stopping and hitting play. And if you're a returning viewer, hey, y'all. Happy Hi. to see you again. <laughs> well, you were um, up at the lake on a at little cabin. a little intermittent vacay that you were taking, mm -hmm. but working. Working vacay. Like, yeah. And it sounds like I'm going to be a frog for this video, so that's not good, so bear with me. But I would like to ask you, Miss Jane, have you stitched anything? Or what did you stitch on? Well, Julie, <laughs> thank you for asking. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I did very little stitching. Lessons learned from the cabin. Okay, last time I was there, I said I couldn't stitch very much because I forgot my light. Mm -hmm. This time, the light was there. The cabin is not for stitching. <laughs> it's not for 40 count, that's for sure. No. And then um, there are these things called bugs. Oh, yeah. So one evening, I was like all excited. I had my stitching. I had my little light next to me. Everything was good. I kind of stitched a little bit, and then I paused, and I talked to my husband, and I looked back down, and the yellow submarine had little black gnats oh. all over And they're so tiny. They're called no seams, and they come right through your screen, so you can't get rid of them. so gross. Ugh. So took it to the door, hit it so that they would, like, bounce off, and then... Uh, Put it in the bag. Well, plus you had family to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's when you're in that kind of atmosphere, it's not just like a little no. retreat like when you and I used to. No. Go. <laughs> but I did work on um, a couple of things: one cross stitch piece and one hard hanger. Awesome! So. Wow, you really got far. So here is Yellow Submarine by Blackbird Designs. And I'm doing this on 36 count Summer Storm mm, by Seraphim. One strand of floss over two fabric threads. And I am using um, a combination of the fancy floss and the DMC conversion that was um, provided. Oh, I almost let out a big burp there. You've got Diet Coke burps. I can't have Diet Sorry, Coke. Sorry, you all. Here is my progress oh, I just love that why why oh why am I not stitching on mine <laughs> I, don't know. I thought it would I did I realized it wasn't going to be a big piece but I thought it would be a little bigger than this but oh, I think um, that's cool. I like it yeah love I'm almost ready to put the fish farts behind the submarine just to kind of break up the yellow um, oh okay but yeah. How fun. Very How cool. fun. And, you know, you maybe would never know it by looking at it, but these are different color yellows, and it's the DMCs that were called for. But I don't know that there's going to be much variation between those hmm. two yellows, and I'm just going to be okay with it. Well, what's the fill-in color? Maybe the fill-in color. It's the same two. Oh, the same yeah. two colors. Yep. Yeah. So the two DMC yellows that were called for must be neighbors are these two yellows 728 and 3821 oh. and there's not a lot of difference between no. the two of them well maybe when it's done it'll it'll be subtle yeah maybe you know i mean i'm not mad about it well, it's a yellow submarine i didn't sign a contract with anybody well that's that like with the one i'm doing with sheep virtues three oh one one and three oh one two why why bother they <laughs> do make a subtle subtle you know yeah subtlety 
A subtle subtlety. <laughs> I'm just going to have to be a, <laughs> a listening participant. <laughs> it's going to be a very short video then, you all. Bye. No. <laughs> <coughs> Hope the clicker works this time. Um, but it, yeah, it's a very, it's very whimsical I love and it. I do enjoy, um, stitching on it. And then, um, the, I almost stole your phone cord. And then the only other thing I worked on was Sophie. So we can do that <clears throat> in the heart intersection if you okay. want. What about you, Julie? Let me ask you, what have you been <laughs> stitching on? I'm surprised I got as much done as I did. Oh, we had our, <clears throat> excuse me. We had our memorial luncheon. That was very nice. And then for two days, I decompressed and sat in the chair and did nothing. I, I did nothing. Um, so that was kind of different. When I did start stitching, I always start on Cheap Virtues. Oh, I just love that. I just because ordered a few more happy. Cheap Virtues. I found all the ones that were hiding in the meadow, which is called the stitching room. <laughs> And um, consolidated them on a ring. And then I ordered a couple of the ones that I'm missing. I'm missing quite a few, but I ordered a couple. Um, I don't even know which one I'm working on. I Here's the Sheep Virtues. I'm doing 10 of them. Little House Needleworks. And I'm doing <clears throat> doing them on a, on a long um, piece of fabric that I'm going to roll on a vintage spool. So I've got. She's operating mm -hmm. the knobs, y'all. Yeah, on. I am. I am. Excuse me. And the reason why I'm not prepared is because I don't. Once I put. <clears throat> excuse me. Once I put this away, I don't look at it until here. Now I finish courage. I love the lavender in that. I Those do. Lavender too. flowers are just awesome. It just popped, and now I've started, look at how my needles are sticking out, like, gee whiz. Now I've started. Behind the scenes. Yeah, now I've started this, and I have no idea what it is. Um, Jane, will you nod me? Sure. This is gratitude. So I am working on my sixth one, and it is gratitude all the sheep <clears throat> oh. should I do them all the same color because they're like in a club or should I do every other one white I'm doing them white and ecru because I didn't want them all ecru so what do you think have a, do you have an, an opinion should I do one black <laughs> I was just going to say you could put me on there that would be a black sheep we could go black white black white because we're two-faced <laughs> we have good days and bad days good days and bad days true um i don't know i would do i think i would do them the just what you're doing now one of them white and then ecru okay just kind of see how on my chart i can't show you but at the top of my chart i put what the previous one was here. they're not straight so don't panic they don't roll on straight. I've got kitty wampus. So that's that's fun. So I'll get to work on this tonight. And then I'll finish this one. Courage, right? Is that no gratitude. gratitude. I'll finish gratitude and then I'll block I'll border the next one and then I put it away. And I can't um I don't look at it till we come here. So I found a few pictures of a few different ways. I searched Instagram, and there were a lot of different ways that folks have done them. You know, three over mm -hmm. three, the one like uh, Leslie from Cat, Fat Cat Flossing did with the Little House Needleworks, um, sheep related, one in the middle, and then around it, I've seen some do, you know, four by three. Mm -hmm. Um, They're beautiful. Another person did. Maybe it was Karen from Needle Needlebug. Karen did. Um, I think three, and then at the bottom had a sheep or a sheep related one, and then in the middle, oh, okay. did 
kind of did like a name placard. Kind of slant, samplered it up. Yeah, it looks really cool. Cool. So I can't decide. So I'll order over the next few months, I'll complete my pattern collection, collection. and then go from there. Sounds like a plan. This bag, here in bags, this bag says Harvest Blessing. Now, this is by Stony Creek with beautiful my adaptation. <laughs> Love it. I'm in the mood to stitch something fall. So what I've done, and I wrote this all on a cheat sheet and then promptly left the cheat sheet at home. Um, but I did bring the fibers. Surprising how they're in the bag then, when you have it in a bag. Hmm. The, the um, project does have a better chance of staying <laughs> together. Well, what I did is I actually started. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I got quite a bit done. Oh, on, that fabric is amazing. Do you remember what it is? It is. Um, oh, please. Oh, yes, yes. It is. Um. 30, 36 Count Tobias from Seraphim. It is beautiful. And what oh, I did... It's gorgeous. You want to hold that yeah. up? Yeah. Want to be my Vanna? Yeah. What I did was I wanted to do the leaves are done in Brick Path, a gentle art sampler. Oh, that's a beautiful... And Fair then vision. I changed, this is all done in whatever color you choose, monochromatic, but I did the um, vine work in 632, and I didn't want to do mm. the pumpkin in a variegade for just the reason we talked about multiple times. It'll drive you nuts. No, you'll have one row yeah. of green and one yeah. row of what, and it would turn out striped. And that I did drives me nuts. Not the stripiness that. of it would drive me so crazy. So what I'm using is um, one strand of DMC 3858. See how it just oh, has like a beautiful rust, like a clay berry yeah. tone to it, like a terra so I, terracotta. I made that commitment to do that. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> now I will. My hopes are is to make the ship in the variegade and the leaf in the variegade. Hmm. And as we discussed, I will also put a band on. The rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit will have a belt. <laughs> that is, we thought that was a rabbit. So I'll put some kind of band to make that look more head like a headdress than a yeah. rabbit. I'm obsessed with this fabric. It is beautiful. It really is. Seraphim, beautiful. huh? I think I've, I've I think, that's, I think I'm familiar with you're that. You're no stranger to Seraphim. I'm right? not. You go all the way back. Bias. Oh, Julie. I, I love it. And so I did do a fair amount, as you can tell, yeah. of stitching on that. That's a lot And then of I go, stitches. okay, then done. Because eh. I would just stitch and stitch and like you'd be seeing, seeing the same thing every week. That's why I, I um, so the Zimmerman cutlet <laughs> has been in here since the last time we did an episode. And I had to leave it in here. I can't leave it alone. When it's next to me. Well, I'll tell you, I had no problems walking away from <laughs> the forest of Sumatra. I got myself out of the thick of those woods <laughs> real quick. I thought I, I'm not in the frame of mind for that. Oh, I got. Did I you got find a, any bears doing things in there? No, but you know, I had to take all my stitching stuff and kind of tuck it away for this luncheon, and I, I just put her back in the pillowcase and we'll have to deal with that another day yeah. but I'll f I won't get off track next tote bag this one says <clears throat> palace of the winds all right this was is it is it is broken free from the scroll bar I have not put it on a scroll bar yet I'm oh, I'm thinking of come said the wind. Yeah, oh, no, palace is, of the wind. We've got all the winds. We've got the weather. <laughs> we've got weather related stitching. This. Okay. 
between the two of us, we can't even get it straight. What is it with us? Okay, now I've never stitched with, I gotta say it right, Color Classic. I have never stitched with Classic Color Works Belle Soi Silk. It's a 12 strand silk. I took one strand and I cut it in half and I threaded two needles. That's where my submarine comes in handy. On <laughs> my days or lamp, I've got my yellow submarine magnet up there and I put two needles of red. staging area. <clears throat> two needles of berry cobbler. Two needles of cotton candy. Because you can't work with really any longer length than that because this has a tendency to freely come apart into two strands where yeah. the 103s don't. Doesn't. <clears throat> but my new friend Dee that I met in Blue Earth who said, you'll love it, you'll love it. And Shelly goes, you'll love it, you'll love it. I do, but it's um, it, it lays very nicely, but it does fray. It's a learning So it's not thing. as forgiving as cotton. I decided I to <clears throat> use this hoop. She put it in a hoop, y'all. In a hoop. Don't you know. And um, I really, really like this. To start with a new fiber, I want it to be rather intimate. So I wanted it up close. I didn't want it at arm's length. Yeah. I started it. And I can say I wasn't too thrilled. <laughs> I wasn't too happy about it. And Why? well, <clears throat> if you please look, state your case. All right. The pattern fabric that they chose on this is, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, mm. I can't find it. It's got a blue tinge to it. I'll look for it. And I didn't want to have a blue tinge because I know where I'm going to put this. And like with framing. Seraphim old stationery. Old stationery. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's got a grayish modeling to it. And I'm wondering if that wouldn't look better with reds. Because you know in the color palettes reds are cool like blues oranges and browns and warmer. are warmer. So I'm I'm afraid I've got a cool fiber on a warm fabric and I'm wondering if that's a mistake. But I told Tom, you know, like like he listens, love him, but he's like, oh yeah, I see your point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so mm -hmm. what he what I told him is I said what my frustration is is if I would have stitched it on a fabric that might have looked a little bit better with the fiber. I wouldn't feel comfortable hanging it where I want to hang it because all our rooms are tan. Um, They're warm. warm rooms. I don't have any. I just have Bella's room is the pink and white room. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, so then I would be stitching it and not being happy with the where to put it I once all the work is in. I think it looks great. Now maybe it might have something to do with the fact that I was stitching this watching American Ninja Warriors. No, no Might have. Come from that. No. Um, and it was so funny because I told Tom, I know, oh, he, this guy fell. I don't blame him. I never would have been able to do that. He looked at me, he goes, and you would the other stunts they did. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the one that would have put you over. <laughs> you know, this is sad, but it takes American Ninja Warrior for you to feel like that. I'm watching a Hallmark movie and somebody gets up off the floor and I'm like, oh my God, did you see what they just did? <laughs> 10 out of 10. So this is what I got done. I think I like, I really like it. I, I like it on that <clears throat> fabric. I think another thing I didn't like, I didn't like the first band I started with. Look at how putsy it is. 
And I'm yeah, like, that's oh, a lot of color changes. I don't like that. Where's the fun stuff? This is such an Where's awesome. Fun well, stuff? this is just like, oh, blow your mind. I've got to do that. And I'm doing that first band going. Yeah. Are you thinking I, that this is like where the fun starts? Yeah. Or, you know, something other than that first band I started on. So I'm chevrons like, are not your idea of fun. Uh, I guess not. That's the record show, everybody. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we got a fabric oh. disappointment. We've got is the pink gonna show on the beige? Well, it's not beige. It's called something else. I left my list at home. I'll have to reference the notes. Um, I love it. So I had to have written it down so it looks I didn't think. No, I didn't. But I got to use the hoop, and this hoop made it feel like it was um, you were stitching on a cloud. It's so that lightweight. That is a really nice And hoop. then this one you just pull down to separate so it was good on my hands rather than the screwing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I think I was still in overwhelm stage. Sure. Um, that it's like, well, I got to start this because I want to start it. And then I started it and I'm like, I don't know. But I, I will, of course, stick with it. But, um, and is this a paged pattern? Yes. Yeah. I'm finding, um, hope you're sitting down y'all because this will be really <laughs> shocking to you that I struggle with paged program or paged charts, even though there's that nice little like gray shading. Ugh. Look, Jane, you already completed this on the previous page. Yeah. Use this to anchor as an anchoring spot. To start the next page, my brain goes, I have no idea what this is. Why are these like this? So then I try to make the working copies, cut them and tape them together. And then I've got something, you know, huge, big enough to hang on a museum wall. And then, you know, you fold it, the tape comes loose. And, and you whatever. can't, you can't color because the tape doesn't color. Okay. What problems to have? So is this where the pattern keepers come into play? Probably. Is because then you you load them and you click them off? Because I know I went all the way over on the page and I still have like, if there was a dot and I looked and the dot was like three more chevrons and I'm like, nope, I'm only doing this page to work on. So Right now if you looked at my Zimmerman coverlet... You would see there's a little bit of highlighting <laughs> on three different pages. Oh. And it made total sense out at the time. And then I pulled it out this morning. And I looked at it and I was like, why would I have done it? Maybe that's why I've never been a sampler stitcher. Because most of those are paged. And in a way it makes perfect sense. I mean, an 8.5 by 11 is very accessible. Yep. You know, the, their charts are all easy to read. It's just my brain. <laughs> Put the puzzle yeah, it, together. I try to tape them together too, but that did not work with "Come Said the Wind" because that was dot dot over one, and yeah. I'm like, oh well, this is just a hot mess. Notice how that one didn't make it in the selection for this week. <laughs> not in this rotation, but I did want to share, if I could, with you. I talked last time about the. This is called a gaming mat, because you know I'm all about games. Yeah, you are a gamer. Yeah. So this is my gaming mat, or Whoa. giant mouse pad. I love that. Yeah. And what I do is I, wouldn't this be cool? Now, the one retreat I was going to go on, I was sick, so I couldn't go. But this rolls up and slides in my light box with my extension cord, that when you got to your place at your table, you would set this down. Yeah, what a great idea. And, you know, kind of, like, mark your territory. <laughs> oh, there's Julie Station. Yeah. Um, but you know what I also found when working with the Forest of Sumatra, which is on, I think... 75-inch scroll bars. Yes, I was going to say 82, but I did cut it down. Uh, don't exaggerate, Julie. <laughs> the back side is gripped. So I put it starry night side down on my ironing board and oh. now I have as Bella when <laughs> Bella told me that she just thinks it would be so cool to be an octopus when she was little 
because they could do all sorts of things because they have all sorts of grippage. <laughs> so by turning this mat over, look at that grippage you that have is, for that yeah. thirty-two inch Not scroll slide bar. No, because yeah. once I kind of, I kind of stitch crooked when I'm sitting there because I got my arm yeah. here. I do the same you thing. You know, yeah. and then it's like so close to that edge of the ironing board. So I just turn it over and I utilize the gripping. And it keeps it from sliding yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Oh, what a great idea. So I got this on Amazon. They've got um, uh, 110 patterns to choose from, but the Starry oh, Night. Oh, that's an afternoon, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the Starry Night spoke to me as that's Catherine's favorite. And oh, look, I dropped, dropped my bathrobe cord. Oh, well, I'll just oh, no. in. Okay, Do so. Do you want me to black you out? God, no, I'm not getting off this chair. <laughs> not until it's time for lunch. I know. Oh, lunch. Two girls who love lunch. That's what the name of our floss tube should have been. It should have been. I'm thinking about, I, at one point in time when I was baking every weekend, I thought about doing a, fo a food blog, and I was going to call it Fat Girl in a Small Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> You crack me up. <laughs> Stop. Fat girl, tiny kitchen, something like that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, now what do we, when you say things like that, you throw me off. So, what do we've got now? Heart anger. You heart anger. Heart anger? Yes. Yes. I did work a bit on Sophie because the cabin does seem to be um, a good place for heart anger. So I reached a milestone there. I finished all of the cutting and wrapping of the plain wrap only. Ooh. So let me I shall assist. Show you. Shall we? Wait, is that the right? Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to take a sharpie and I color. don't think so. Okay, yeah, we're in the oops, this way. <laughs> we are hopeless. Oh, <laughs> um Let's see. I'm gonna pee. Yep, up a little bit. You're gonna pee? No, peek. Oh. I peeked. I was gonna say. <laughs> so that's what the plain wrap looks like. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And then ah. I decided to start the plain wrap with picos. And um, so I had my Take the heart out of heart anger, or THH. As, I just call it THH. As uh, some folks call it. And I decided I was going to try to do the Picos. Now so, you wanted a private lesson refresher course, and she did amazing. So amazing. There are the little Picos. They're the little French knot looking things on either side of the plain wrapped bar. Oh, beautiful, Jane. Thank you. Just beautiful. Um, I struggled a little bit. Well, I haven't done a Pico in like 10 years. Yes. Um, and for some reason, my pearl cotton was, I got piss knots in my pearl cotton. Uh, so I, I think the first five or six I cut out and started over, started over like three, four times. Um, and I thought maybe I would have an easier time if I did not use a hoop because I use a hoop um, when I do the wrapping mm -hmm. because otherwise if I do it just in hand, my nice sharp squares end up kind of looking circular because mm -hmm. I have, you know, I have tension issues yeah. when I stitch. Um, but I was really struggling with the hoop and trying to get my middle or my ring finger behind where I was making the Pico to kind of hold it. it in place. So I think, so I tried doing it in hand and I'm just so used to doing the wrapping with a hoop now. So um, I dug through my stuff when I got home and I have smaller hoops. So I think oh. if I have a hoop maybe that big, yeah. that allows me that, it, that it's intimacy in your hand. with yeah. the Picos. Yeah. Um, your finger is more readily in, yeah. in your yeah. working area. Yeah. So they are not uh, Julie quality Picos, but um, they're beautiful. But they're okay, and they look much better now, not having looked at them for a week. Now they're like, oh, 
Those are some nice people, girl. You have girl. to step away from the Pico sometimes to make, you know, you're so right there that, like I thought with Palace of the Wind, maybe if I get a little bit more of the other dynamics, I won't look and just see that chevron, you know. Yeah, so. and just to remind you, here's, I'm doing monstrous, Sophie, the tall, lanky Sophie. It's one of Julie's designs. 28 count Cashel Platinum mm -hmm. Linen with Pearl Cotton 8 and 12 and DMC 822. Yep. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Love it. I did not make my goal of finishing her by Labor Day, but I did finish the plain wrap by yes. Labor Day. I thought that was an unrealistic goal knowing your work schedule anyways. I have a lot of realistic goals. <laughs> Let's see. How about finishes? Oh, well, I wanted to mm -hmm. talk about just on the Hardinger thing. Yeah. Um, my patterns are available through Welcome Stitchery. So can I show the board? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, absolutely. Because Sophie's available. Justine is carrying my publications. As well as Take the Heart Out of Hardinger, reference book. Um, and that's what she referenced when, and the delightful detail number two was our yeah. Hardinger one we yeah. did. If you want to see us, do it up close. And I did, before I did my first Pico, I did go back and look at delightful details number two. Yeah. And watch the little Pico minutes yeah. a few times. And we will be doing... Two delightful details. I wanted to do, Jane was going to help me, you know, in our spare time. I don't think we have a spare between us, but um, we want to put out a, a delightful detail video on more um, intricate Hardinger stitches. Filling stitches. And she will be doing the stitching and I'll be doing the voiceover tutorial part of it. We talked about that. Don't look like no, I know. Yeah. I'm just terrified. <laughs> and we might even have Catherine doing some over-the-shoulder videoing. Oh, and there is nothing worse than trying to stay on camera. Yeah. And because try to see most what you're people doing. hold, they're very intimate with their heart anger. Yeah. How many people stitch at arm's length? And you certainly can't stitch at arm's length when you have shaky hands and no. bad eyes, so we um, might have to have some help getting it in the camera. Mm -hmm. But that, and we also in the comments were asked about doing a finishing tutorial on wood block. Mm -hmm. And I would love to do that. I'm gonna stitch up something little just so we can do a step-by-step -step through. But Coming this fall. Yeah, fall. Or we could probably, probably find something little in the drawer of no return <laughs> and save could. you the stitching time. We probably could. Speaking of littles, so I've been telling Julie like for the last year, somewhere in this room is a bag like this that has all of my smalls in it. You know, like the little heart and hand and whatever. You know, they're like oh. half this, you know, they're small. Did they like card patterns. <laughs> and they have um, the Lizzie Kate Flippets are in there and all the serge fabric and whatever. I have been searching for two years. So no, you know how you all sent out prayers and Amber Alerts and 1-800-THE-LOST to find <laughs> Sophie? Please, please send positive thoughts my way that I can find it. Because I had kind of forgotten about it and my mind was at peace. And then I can't remember what I was doing in here yesterday. And I thought, I know that bag is here. Because I just had it not all that long ago. In my green, it. you know, like master stitching book, I wrote down all of the um, overdyed floss that was needed. And then I went through my floss and I checked what I had. So I was like all ready to go. I can't find it anywhere. And now that I was in here yesterday, I spent probably hour, hour and a half looking for it. It is making me nuts. My brain will not let it go. Did you check all the drawers? Is that why this morning you said you were so done with drawers? Yeah, I'm done oh, with drawers. Oh, you didn't tell me that. 
Well, maybe before lunch comes. I, because I finished my Lizzie Kate Flippets, remember? Yep. And I want to do... We were going to do it in, a, in cubes. On cubes. So then if you could find it and, and kind of start along with that, that would be fun. Do you think because it was a big ass whatever that we put it in a bin? No, I think it's probably one of those. She's got drawers all, drawers all over oh, here. Over there. I think one of the drawers in the bottom has like your Hardinger things and I think we just might have stuck it in there because it was a big bag. Okay. So after lunch we'll otherwise we'll have to notify the cows. Because <laughs> they found oh, so I like cows. <laughs> yes you do. <laughs> and, and don't forget they like me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now what? Do we have finishes? Uh yeah I uh, yeah, I have a little finish, and you have a couple finishes, mm -hmm. so do you want me to go first? Yes, please. Okay, so we were talking about doing a um, whip parade. We'll do that next episode. <clears throat> episode number 30, y'all. Whip parade. But I'm like... 76 I... trombones <laughs> in the whip parade. <laughs> da -da -da. Pretend these are symbols. Da -da -da. Yeah, I, do, we get to wear, do I get to wear the big hat with the jerk? Can I yeah, can you bend over way backwards and put well, that, I could, that but thing I up and down? Get back up. <laughs> that might make but me... she's like, um, oh, we have to do a whip parade. And I'm like, do I really have that many whips? And I have something that I started at the beginning of the video, of our videos. And I'm like, oh, I'll do these. These look like fun. And then all of a sudden I just fell off of that wagon and hopped right on the over two with one thread and the mass of everything's in the scroll bars and the life commitment. And I thought, wait a minute. I That's have what happens these, with whips. I have these little things, remember? Oh, yep. Cottage garden samplings. Okay, so I thought I a, remember. Few, a few gals, floss two gals were doing this. And I'm like, well, I'm going to do that. But I don't have wall space. So what I did is oh. I had this one done. This so one was cute, it guys. was already a FF. Okay. I finished this one. Oh, look at, look at that. I finished that one. Oh, that that head of the cat and that long I neck know. just kills me. And last night through this morning when I told you I was going to take a shower after I finished the E. <laughs> She has another whip, you guys. Yeah, this is a whip. Okay, but I'm going to cover them on... Oh, look. 32... Uh, these are stitched on 32-count trick-or-treat rounds. That's what my label says. But these are metal mounting forms that have been around oh. for a long time. They're discontinued, but I had six of them because I'm going to do... The stitching fits perfect on there. Oh, it really so does. So it'll be perfect on there. And then I'm going to put um, uh, fabric, like polka dot or um, spiders. Or mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of fabric on the back. And then I'll oh, ruche wow. or bead or, or rack around the edge. So yeah, I've, so I kind of had one last whip. But I thought the colors between them, don't you think that'll be cute to have three of those? In a dough bowl or something. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Did that get up high enough? Did I hold it up high enough? Oops. God, sorry about making you seasick. There you go. Oh, they look great So together. you can do them all at, as a full picture, or you can just take the ones that strike your fancies. Yeah, they were fun, fun. Okay, now remind me. Yes. A while ago, you did the other Halloween ones, like on 82 count, one over one, or whatever. Mm -hmm. they, did you fully finish those? Yeah. And I, okay. Yeah. And we did they, show them, but I was thinking about that while you were showing those, and I thought, I think I remember like ruching and okay, like so, felty <clears throat> stuff on the back. and Not like we're going to get some interaction right here in an instant. Um reply but 
you know, Halloween is coming up. And I did some, oh, I did those over one. Adorable. And I also Sue did that Hillis. Sue Hillis spooky box. Yeah. Can I show that again? Yeah. Can I really? Is yes. that called a repeat? No, we just do a repeat floss tube. Or did it do I a think rerun? So. I mean, back when you did it, I think we have 17 subscribers. True. And we have a few more now. A lot of people haven't seen it. I didn't know. I if, think it would be great. I didn't know if that was um, politically correct to repeat, do a repeat on finishes. Politically correct. If you're looking for pretty politically correct, you all get into the wrong place. But you know, if that was what someone's going to go, well, she did this in episode whatever. But, but I can. So we'll yeah, do, I would we'll love do, to see them again. Yeah. Well, okay, we'll do that then because those were really cute. I did them on 30 count over one. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I yeah. did that. So, yeah. I, is that all? Oh, you do you have any finishes? I have I do have a finish. Oh, uh, this wait. is Shepherd's Bush of Full Heart. Oh. <laughs> and I um, I finished it. I did not press it. If you are triggered by wrinkles, look away. Get your children out of the room, your pets. Yeah, the pets especially. Shield your eyes. Ooh. Yeah, it oh. is kind of. And then here's oh. the. Oh, oh, oh. There's the finish. Just beautiful. That was a lot of grass. See, yeah. every time you say full heart, I think of the other Shepherd's Bush one you did that was a heart basket. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 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 full heart is and then, beautiful. Um, as, well, as part of my delightful deliveries, I got this 8-inch round shaker box from La Haye. Um, oh. Just newly came. Smell. You can still smell the poly. We can the finish yeah so imagine comes with it it's an eight inch round it's a recessed lid so imagine this in this ah oh, it's gonna be perfect yeah get that in your imagination y'all because that's the only place you're gonna be seeing it how, for a while. how about this how about if we did find some fun fabric and I may made a circle and you did a padded bottom in that box oh removable we won't glue it in yeah but just a padded bottom yeah box that'd be too. awesome that would be kind of cool too yeah so how that's fun. a finish so that's oh, my it's beautiful fo my finished object that was a lot of stitching <clears throat> in that grass and then i got a couple full finishes back from my finisher hmm. julie And let me. Okay. I am like I'm such a hot mess, y'all. So the first one, and I'm sorry for the crinkling. Well, you were right about the crinkling. Did you hear the five planes go over? <laughs> oh yeah, the windows are open. And sorry, you guys. By the airport. <laughs> this is um, the Robins are here by Brenda Gervais. So and the cute. more I worked with it, I'm like, I've got to stitch this. Yes. And look, here's the finish, you guys. How cute fun. is that with the Rick Rack. Rick Rack that came? And then look at the back. It came with The a... charm came with mm -hmm. it. And then Julie added the touch of a mother of pearl flower to match the flowers that are in the... <sighs> It fabric. was so, I'm like, this is so tiny. Why did I think it was bigger? But it's not. It's it's just so charming. I really can't stand it. Oh, it's so amazing. I just yeah. love it. Now I so want to do mine. Okay, remember, I think I still have the um, floss. Yes, all, um, set aside. All together. Yep. And then the second one is Goodness and Grace by Shepherd's Bush. That's what I always thought was the full heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this is part of the Shepherd's Fold series. Did you get all the rest of those pieces? Yep, they're all in a project bay just waiting to be stitched. And look at this, y'all.
Isn't that amazing? That was fun. Look at that ribbon. The that ribbon, ribbon I told Jane was not how I typically ruche. Because, you know, we did that ruching delightful detail. Mm -hmm. This was more like a twist and place yeah. to make the amount of ribbon it wasn't that a, was Because it wasn't a generous amount of ribbon. No. It's beautiful, but not very generous. Yeah. Look at that. And then it has little How beads. Beautiful. You secured it with little beads, which were a plethora of beads. They did include plenty of beads. <laughs> like a tablespoon of beads yeah. if you needed 12. <laughs> yeah. And then... um. I had the pins from just another button company, so Julie put those in there. And then look. I didn't know I'm where on to put the, that. I'm one. on the back. I didn't the know. The black where sheep, y'all. There I, I am. I didn't know where to put the black. It was like one. signing the piece. Yeah. Having the black one on the back. So. Um, thank you so much. Oh, Julie. you're welcome. It truly oh, was my pleasure. Just I'm so still beautiful. learning. My first pillows. Yes. I'm still learning. Um, I didn't have to reference the um, Vanna Pfeiffer's tutorial because I watched it enough time with my schoolhouse pillow. But it still is, there's just a knack to that. And, um, you know, as in anything, I always say with parting or, you know, the perfection practice. comes with perf um, practice. practice perfection does yeah so so maybe um, by the time I get to my last pico on Sophie it really will be a perfect yeah. pico because I, I thought there I thought there were a lot of eyelets I think there's just as many picos the thing is is that I've told you and everyone from day one of class you don't do a stunt doily and then do the real one it's all it depends on your mood it depends on your tension it depends on humidity it how depends much alcohol on you exactly what your lighting is if, if you're tired you know it's yeah. all and you notice that even with your cross stitches oh absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. so beautiful yeah. Thank you beautiful so much. finishes aren't they? they are thank you julie <laughs> reminds me my mom Back in the day when we were little, we had, you know, all the aunts and cousins and uncles and everybody over for Thanksgiving. You had two turkeys and a ham, and you all were in the yeah. basement, endless tables, you know. And um, my mom was having a little glass of Mogan David wine. Mad dog. <laughs> and she was tired from all the cooking, and yeah. she was having a piece of pumpkin pie, and she goes, God, this is good pie. Every bite, this is really good pie. Who made the pie? We go, you did. She goes, damn good. <laughs> so there's a little I'm bit of Arlen there. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to start saying that after each pico. Yeah. Girl, Yeah. that's a good pico. You're good. Damn, you're good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How funny. Well, now what? <clears throat> Well, there's delightful deliveries, but before I talk talk about delightful deliveries, okay. Um, Ooh, what you got? You remember one of the last episodes? I showed you "Wisdom" by Teresa Cole. Oh, I have that too. Yeah. And um, Leslie from Fat Cat Flossing is going to do a start along of this um, and I'm going to join her starting on September 15th we're going to do a start along and you can um, join in and use the hashtag hashtag stitchy wisdom oh okay. maybe I will insert that up here okay. that's psych I don't know how to do that <laughs> but I'll include the hashtag down in the description box so um I've never done a start along or a stitch along before. Julie and I were talking earlier in the um, stitching lounge, and she was like, it, what's the real purpose mm -hmm. of a, a sal? Because I have this, too, yeah. and I want to start it on that day, too. Yeah. I need fabric, but yeah. And I said, I think the real purpose is you're working on a project with people that are like-minded that you have something in common with. It's a way to bring people together. You can encourage each other when you reach milestones or if somebody's struggling, you can answer, you can answer 
each other's questions. It's just kind of a way to be part of a community. That's the way I look at but it. But that's on Instagram, mm -hmm. right? Hashtags are on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So then that throws me. So you'll have to just show I'll me how to you. find it. I yeah. might actually post something on Instagram. You never know. No. Been warned. I, so, yeah. So we're going to do this. Teresa Kogut's Wisdom. So do you have fabric? You have fibers? I do have fibers. Okay, that leads me into another delightful delivery. Okay. Segway. Okay. I got my September Color and Cotton. <clears throat> this is a piece of 36 count travertine. Beautiful Ooh. fabric. Look at how gentle that is. Yeah. Is that dyed through and through? Mm-hmm. Oh. Dyed through and through. And then here are the September colors, which are beautiful autumn colors. So I was oh. thinking that maybe, okay, I don't, no, don't judge. I don't have them on floss drops. Here are the colors for um, Wisdom. And then Ooh. I thought maybe that might work. Yes. I mean, I have other options in the fabric drawers. Because but. the only thing I would be concerned about, um, unsolicited opinion, is the lighter color. But by quickly looking at the pattern, the lighter color is surrounded by mm -hmm. a bolder color. So you wouldn't lose the shape. So I'm yeah. not really sure. I might oh. want something that's a little warmer and browner. But... I at least have the fibers all in one place, and um, it's very subtle. Would you want to yeah. go uh, heavy, modeled splotchy? I might want something more modeled. Um, more uh, if only aggressive. I had a fabric stash that I could <laughs> go through romp through. And here was one of my other delightful deliveries. <sighs> Judy from Buckleberry Quilts got me with another blue one. Oh darn you, Judy! Oh. Isn't that something? I was admiring uh, my bag. Which one was it? I was admiring this bag when I was putting all my stuff in. And I I said to Tom, look, just look at this. And I made him actually, I threw, winged it over into his chair. And I said, look at there's not a visible seam. There's no raw right. edges. They're and look just a beautiful fabric on the oh, inside. Oh, and I said, I just don't understand how she does this magic and there's so many beautiful you know what he said i think she might have a pattern <laughs> tom i don't know he if goes, that's even close to being in focus because my hands are a little shaky today but i'll link her below he said or looks like she's done a few <laughs> as he looks over to my stack <laughs> they're beautiful every time every time one comes in the mail nick's like what did you do nothing and then I say, oh, I ordered that a long time ago. Yeah. I didn't. I don't even remember I ordered it. Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. Move and along. And then now, you know, all of my whoops are in one place out near where I sit. And so he sees these huge stacks of these project bags. And he's like, you have something in every single one of those? Yeah. And he's like, how much are the bags? Free. Oh, they're really, they're cheap. They're Hardly cost anything at all. Shipping. And, and he's like, yeah. So well, you can see some nights when he, for the six seconds that he pays attention to me, he's like trying to add it up in his head and you can see like the top of his head ready to come <laughs> off. And I'm like, don't think about it. Well, you know darn don't well if they had really cool project bags made of leather and and uh, denim for our tools and paint supplies, they... <laughs> I'd have a stack of them too. Yeah. And then since we're on delightful deliveries, I um, went over to the Renato Perlin to his website. Oh my gosh. I think a lot of the people. stuff that is on there. Did you see? And I'll oh, thank you for all of the generous comments. Yeah, but I think a lot of people followed your lead. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got. Um, Nuages de Lane, which I think is clouds of wool or clouds of sheep. Look, Look at, at that. that. Look how cute. It is amazing. All, but focusing on the tree, Yeah, y'all. 
<laughs> if we may, y'all. The tree and the birds, and oh my gosh. And I think it'll be fun because, like, um, floral motif sampler and some of the other, um, you know, pieces I'm working on, every sheep can be a finish. Yes, so or I'm every kind of bird. <clears throat> what, let me, yeah. can I look a little closer? Yeah, I was going to say. What is in the middle besides the birds? And it's, is it a hefty size? Well, on 32 <clears throat> count, me. it's 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Yeah, that's not bad. 11 by 11 on 36 and 10 by 10 on 40 count. What are you going to do it on? I don't ever like I'll ever stitch it. What are you going to start it on? You're so cute. <laughs> um, what are you going to pip it up with? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I wanted to see it. I, uh, and it calls for all DMC. I ordered yes. the DMC so I would have full skeins. And so I think when the colors come, I'll look to see um, if I want to have it on something lighter or darker, depending on how the browns might stand out. Did you focus in on what else is... When I looked at it, I could not tell what else was in the tree. I think there's owls in there. There's owls and squirrels. Oh. Look at that on the pattern. Oh, there are squirrels. squirrels. Well, do you think I'd lie? Owls and squirrels. Yeah. Oh, the my The pattern gosh. is on um, this, like, pale... Yeah, on this color. On that color. But it's very well charted yeah. and easy to read. I have not tried making a working copy, though. I don't know how that I would. think it'll be okay. You think it wouldn't come out real, real dark? Mm-mm. Oh. Yeah. I know. And then, what else did I get? I think that's... I think that's it. But we had some stitchy kindness. Yes. That I wanted to tell everybody about. Mm -hmm. um, a very kind viewer, uh, Jennifer, reached out to us and wanted to send us um, a thread trail tucker. Back in the old days, in my youth, um, I think they uh, they were called do lollies, do but you lollies. you can't really find them. No. But look, she included one for me and one for Julie. Mine's blue. Look how beautiful. And mine's red. Yep. And then there's a tin that will, um, where you can store the thread puller or the tail puller, or yeah. you can put your orts in there, yeah, or, or needles or whatever or... you wanted to do. Emergency M and M's, <laughs> Tic Tacs. But um, thank you so thank much, thank you, Jennifer. So and much. Um, I hope it's okay to share. You can find Jennifer on Instagram at Pins and Spools pinsandspools at gmail.com and her Etsy shop is also called, called pins, pins and, and spools. spools and I will link her below. But how kind was that? It Thank was you. Very, very kind. Yeah. How nice of you. Yes. And how and the thought and, and the fact that you put um, all that thought into what our favorite colors are, that really touched my heart. Yes, thank you. Yeah. That was awesome. What Thank about you, you for you. delightful deliveries? Um, well, I got, as a little review, I had shown three that started the frenzy, I think, here. Oh, I went and into a frenzy. There was an awfully thick envelope that came from Italy. But I will share my shame over time <laughs> instead of all today. Not me. I I only ordered three, and well, everyone three had commented that they want me to start the happy tree. Start the tree. Oh. And then, of course, this is what prompted the whole thing, was the Christmas one dripping with goodness. My gosh, that is something... So what I decided to do and to be, you know, 2022 Julie kind of jumped in on the decision making. I decided to do, um, is it Grand Armonia? Mm -hmm. I decided to start this because mm -hmm. it's every day. It's not yeah. winter or holiday related, Christmas related. And it's a big girl. It's 17 um, by five point seventeen or sixteen and a half, 
by 5.7 on 36 count. Yeah, it's substantial. So what I did oh, is man. when I finally got off my <laughs> my pity chair, I went and spent an afternoon at Joanne's. I kind of just walked around and looked at all the Christmas stuff they've got out already. But these are the colors. Look how gorgeous those are. Well, the thing is, are. is that once I started pulling and I saw all the reds, yeah, it's not showing up very good. You've got the family 815, 814, 498, 355, 349, 321. Those are all my friends. I mean, those are gorgeous reds. Yeah, they and, really are. <clears throat> so, and I, and I, you pre I them. bobbinated them, and then I've got my um, one strand. Your floss My dogs. did the little floss. All right. I'm trying Let's get to get serious now. Seriously. I did the little tags that Jane puts on her project base. I'm still Why trying to get over the genius of that idea. The, and then I focused. just put the floss numbers on. So when I cut my length, I put that on here so it's not hanging all over this mess. Yeah. So then um, my delightful delivery was, oh, this is um, Weeks Dye Works 36 count straw. So this is one contender. And then the other one was 36 oh. count picture this plus count, count <laughs> country. They didn't put the RY, so it was count country ale, Edinburgh linen. So oh these are my. the two, and I'm not quite sure what I like. I'm, mm. I'm kind of leaning towards, oh, opposite. I'm thinking this hand is on this side of the... I know. Oh. Are you thinking about I'm the straw? I'm thinking of the straw, yep, the lighter one. That's the one that struck yeah. me first was the straw. I think it would just be too oh, daunting gorgeous. in the ale. Now, not saying I couldn't find something else to stitch on ale. So you think that would be a good oh, choice? Oh, I though? think it would be great. I think those reds will just yep. be really, really cool. Yep. And that kind of... Um, Goldy tan, yeah, that's there would look great on that because the goldy tan is uh, just a couple of the um birdhouses, birdhouses. so they're not going to be like a roof. Oh my god, and those red birdhouses at the base of the tree! I know, I so now it's like, do I start another one? Is this what people do? I was watching, um, I haven't watched Floss Tube for at least two weeks um but who, who was i watching i can't remember someone kind of bemoaning the fact that before they discovered floss tube they stitched on maybe one or two things at a time and now floss tube has ruined them and they want to do nothing but start new pieces and i thought yeah. that's me pick me yeah i i feel um i won't say i feel guilty I feel kind of silly because there's that that whole realistic thing, you know, that pops in. Your 2023 Julie for a few I more know. months. And not only that, but now knowing that Catherine's started cross stitching, she can finish. Enable. <laughs> she can finish. Her. She got her her buttons for her um, hello months that she's doing so she's oh. real excited to start maybe she'll that. have to make a guest appearance someday yes yes i don't know if you can handle the three of us It'll we'll be. see um then i got um all the names going in my head justine from welcome stitchery does a Facebook live called Welcome Wednesdays at 9 a.m. She comes on live and she showed this and I immediately called her when it was over and said, put that aside for me. Luhu stitches. Oh pumpkin. my gosh, look at that vine work. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that really is beautiful. Oh. 
I don't even know what size. I don't even know anything about it. I just... Um, On just 28 these. count, it's approximately five and a half round. Oh, so maybe 36 count would fit down on that, yeah. those metal forms. I might have a couple oh, more of those. I love that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And then, of course, Karen, you're killing me. <sighs> Rosie Rhapsody. Rose Look Manor. at that. Rosewood Manor. From Rosewood Manor. It is beautiful. Yeah. Karen, it's just, she's the designer. Beautiful. And this was, um, and what I love about her charts are she always has little extras. I don't know if they're illustrated or photoed. No, they're not. I can't show. Inside the pattern book, she took like this. Um, round thing right here and smalls and you can Absolute. make a small of that with an initial in it and then she of course you've got your initials Does it have down to be here the R do you have to stitch the R no I think she gives you the elemental piece to oh awesome yeah oh I don't even know like I said didn't even know what size um that's beautiful it would stitch up to be was well, she um, really hurt designs are such great attention to detail yes yes and then um i saw this shelly stitching this um I on saw that too. A welcome stitcheries what are they sips and whips sips and whips justine and shelly um they're just justine and shelly to me i should take note of what their flaws to name really is shouldn't i I think it's Welcome Stitchery. No, I think it's... Sorry. We'll link it below. Look at this. Now, Shelly is working on this. And let me tell you something. I think I saw this pattern when I was there looking. And I thought, hey, it didn't really do anything for me in passing. She showed it as her work in progress. Yeah. It is stunning. And I'm like, I even, all I right. even took note, like, hmm. She was working on this one rose and leaf pattern, right? Like, I'm going to be able to, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, my gosh. It was just beautiful. Yeah. So I'm going to have to ask her what fabric she was doing it on, because I want to do it just as is. And what is this done with? Um, I don't know. Are those DMC numbers? I'm not very prepared. Sorry, I just threw them in my... Yeah, those are DMC numbers. Are they? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So, that's... So many beautiful that, things to stitch. So little time. I know. And, like I said, we are the best of collectors, are we not? It's the only enhanced skill. Yeah. I think I have. And I have nice handwriting. Yes, you do. Font-like printing. It's amazing. I yeah. think I think that's it. Seriously. Oh, my. We did it. We did it. Are we getting older? Or why is it that we're like, oh, I don't think we can do another one? <laughs> I think it was just the last two weeks. Kind of, I, I don't know about you, but I'm way out of my routine. Yeah. I mean, I live a very simple, boring existence, especially because I'm homebound. I work, I eat, I sleep, sometimes stitch, rinse and repeat, <laughs> work, eat, sometimes stitch, sleep. Doesn't matter. It's seven days a week, yeah. including the work part. The last two weeks have been very, my routines have very disrupted. Yep. And not in a bad way. No. But I think I just kind of felt all kitty wampus and kind of like off balance today. And didn't really feel like I had a lot to share. And so that's why I was like, just come and stitch and let's get caught up. And Julie's like, but the thing I'll be is, there at 11. <laughs> okay, can we make it 11.30? I guess I have to practice some personal hygiene and shower. But the thing is, is that I don't think we're 
as much as we feel we have to have enough content for a show. And she goes, if it's a short one, it's a short one. And I said, that's fine. But and I think... we blabbed anyway. But I think people have that. Other gals and guys have that in their life where they, they're they overwhelmed and they didn't get time for their own selves. And so sure. I don't think we're... As much as we think we're... Um, we let our own selves down because we didn't do all that we wanted to do for the video that's life yeah lemons you know i hear you yeah no so, you're right yeah. i'm glad i'm glad that you came and i'm glad that we're here doing it yeah because i thought nope if she's just gonna sit and stitch then i guess i'll just stay home and sit and stitch and i'm like no we're gonna do this so we soldiered on Two weeks. Onward, floss tube soldiers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Marching mm -hmm. out for lunch. <laughs> what are we going to do yeah. for lunch today? I'm not sure. Something good. Yeah. Something good. Um, we will be back in two weeks. What parade? Oh, yeah, Jane's. That whip parade threat. Well, the commenters, people that were kind enough to comment, were like, "Yes." So whip what parade. do we do? We br I can bring. We them in bring my all of our bags, or do I yep. have to hit no, Judy no, no, up no, no, for no. a big order? You bring all of your <laughs> whips, and we just show them to the world. Do we have to know fabric? And if you know it, say it. If you don't know it, just say it's green fabric. I don't okay. know. Just. God, I hope none of them are prairie schoolers. Oh, you know, I handle those numbers. Number one, number 16. <laughs> okay, I will go through my stuff. And Hardinger yep. whips, too? Yep, absolutely. Oh, oh gosh. How long is this video going to be? I thought it might be a long time. We might have to have a Hardinger edition. No, but we'll... we've warned you all ahead of time. Yeah. So just know now, before you hit episode 30, empty bladder, hot or cold refreshing beverage, Snacks, yeah. feet up, yeah, pad and paper, Tylenol or Advil, whatever <laughs> your choice is. Pre-game it, yeah, whatever. Because you gotta hydrate through this. I will be. Yeah, I would love to be able to have some sips. Like, I was thinking, you know, like, I'm not a drinker, but like a like Bloody Mary mix with some nice things in it in case we get hungry. And then I'm thinking. Tomato juice and fabric. And fabric. What I don't could know. Possibly go wrong. Justine and Shelly have done a lot of sipping. The last episode they had a well, beer because it was a hot day. But oh, that sounds good. Yeah, and we still have to get together with them. Watch, oh, watch oh. out, everyone. Yeah, so we gotta get some stuff on our calendar. Okay. Whips though is coming next. Whip parade. Yep. All oh, right. Sounds good. Well, thank you all for. Um, joining us for another crazy train today. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Um, let's meet back here in a couple of weeks for another adventure together. And so let's pinky swear then that we will give ourselves one more day mm -hmm. and then another one after that and another one after that. I know it's hard. I know the days, the daylight is getting shorter. I know that's a really tough transition. I know it is for me. Mm -hmm. Um, and so if you're struggling, tell somebody. Um, you can tell me, and I'll tell you right back. Um, you're not in it alone. And if um, the shorter days are wearing on you and they're making you think that you don't matter, that your family would be better off without you, your friends would be better off without you, stories like that, your brain is telling you lies. Mm -hmm. None of that is true. Please don't believe those lies. So. You don't have to think about getting through the rest of your life just one more day. Yep. And then another day after that, and another day after that. So let's pinky swear that we do, like we do, that we will string those all together. And we'll get back here in a couple of weeks, and we'll have a whap parade and adventure together. God help us. I don't us. know if I could have said that any more awkwardly, but I could try. So until then, Julie and I wish you nothing but the best, health and happiness, and the abundance of all of the things that make you happy and healthy. And until we see you next time, happy stitching, everybody. Happy stitching. Bye. Bye. We will check the clicker. And then what should we have for lunch? Do we want to go healthy? Something good, like you said. Do we want to go healthy? No.
pizza, cheesecake Ooh. factory. Ooh. Salads the size of our heads. Ooh. Oh, peanut butter English muffin. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs>